Welcome to the ancient bristlecone pine forest here in Inyo County, California. In these trees, there's nothing else like them anywhere but the American West. We are about 10,000 feet above sea level. And behind me is a really glorious representation of what a bristlecone pine is. The oldest one here in uh, California is called Methuselah. Methuselah, I've got it written down here just so I wouldn't forget, is believed to be 4,851 years old. 4,851 years old. It is the oldest living tree, single stem, single root tree, on planet Earth. Methuselah is not behind me. On a previous expedition, I found Methuselah. I'm never going to publish the pictures. I'm never going to tell you where it's at. If you want to know where Methuselah is at, become a park ranger or go to grad school and say biology. Sadly, because of vandalism and arson, its location has to be protected. So how do we know it's 4,851 years old? There's a branch of science called dendrochronology, which is the study of tree rings. Dendrochronologists do more than just study and count tree rings. Tree rings can tell you a lot about the ecosystem hundreds and now thousands of years back. You can take each sliver of tree ring and find out what the atmosphere was like. You can find all sorts of things about the environment many years ago just by analyzing tree rings. Now it's very difficult to do with bristlecone pines because the tree rings are very, very thin. You have to count them under a microscope. And, then, and at that point, still, it's difficult to count. I've seen one sample. I swear to you, some of the, the, the tree rings are about as why does a human hair? It is truly remarkable. Uh, the soil here is dolomite. Bristlecone pines thrive in this really alkaline soil where nothing else can. They're not really threatened with overcrowding of other invasive species because <laughs> nothing else is going to grow here. They kind of got the mountaintop to themselves. Other remarkable things about these trees and the reason they live so long, they can survive high ele elevations wood boring insects, erosion, sleet, snow, freezing temperatures, and keep going. They can actually also survive fire. Like the one behind me, you can see the bark is exposed. At some point in its time, it was actually on fire. But it takes a couple hundred years for a bristlecone pine to start growing again. It's still alive, even though it's caught on fire by, thun, uh, by a lightning strike or whatever, it's still alive because it's so dense. And because they grow so slow, it may take centuries for new leaves to appear. Very hardy plants. Most people call these Great Basin Bristlecone Pines. They have some other names. Intermountain Bristlecone Pine, Western Bristlecone Pine. John Muir called them magnificent. John Muir stood in this forest and was amazed by the beauty he saw around him, as he did other things in the uh, Sierra Mountains of California and Nevada. The bristlecone behind me is old. It's not Methuselah old. Let me give you kind of a time scale. The tree here, I, me, I would guess this tree is about 3,000 years old. It was well out of the sapling stage before Plato wrote Republic. Let me say that again. This tree is older than Plato's Republic. And all the trees behind me, same story probably. This tree, the Roman Empire rose and fell during the lifetime of this tree. It's still here. The Roman Empire is not. My money's on the tree. There are thousands of such trees. Before I fall, let me get a better foothold. You have to make the trip out here to the ancient bristlecone pine forest here in Inyo County, California. If you do, do not underestimate the environment here. It is 10,000 feet above sea level. And even though 
it may be 75 degrees, 80 degrees today, to make this entire circuit, it's a five mile hike. Lots of up, lots of down, lots of up, lots of down. Wear very sturdy boots, bring lots of water, food, Gatorade, whatever for electrolytes. It is a strenuous hike. When we came through it last year for the first time, it took us forever. It took us a long time. Now, it wasn't because the hike was that strenuous. It's because we were taking so many pictures. <laughs> By the time we were done with our hike, we had taken 78 photos per mile. Per mile. We stopped every few feet to take photos because there's always something absolutely magnificent to see. This one, gorgeous. Thousands more just like them all uniquely gnarled, all uniquely barked, and all uniquely a treasure. When we come on this hike today, just to do the videos, we pinky swore to ourselves, okay, no pictures, no more pictures. We're not gonna take any pictures because we just have to get through it and do the video. But isn't it amazing? Is it just not amazing? So that's it for us here in the ancient bristlecone pine forest. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. If you've got any questions, leave those in the comments below. And until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. And just as a side note, if you decide to come hiking in the ancient bristlecone pine forest in the high Sierra mountains at 10,000 feet, don't wear a dress. For the love of God, past two hikers wearing dresses. One was flip-flops. Yeah, I, it, it's, it, it is laughable for what's so sad. Do we just not take hiking seriously anymore here in America? Dresses. She could have gone to church. She could have been coming from church. All the service is over. Let's go hike five miles into the upper hard granite of the Sierra Mountains. Let's do that. It'll be so much fun. Oh my gosh. I can post my bloody feet on Instagram. I mean, fucking two of them. One is like, okay, an idiot. But two, you got to make a video about it, right? Seen it all. We're not down in the parking lot. We don't even know what we're going to see yet. Good God. And one was a white dress. White dress. She's never getting the stains out of that one. Throw that one away. Don't leave anything out.